plaintiff, Rodney Jordan, never knew his father, and he heard that his mother tried to abort him before he was born, so he always felt unwanted. In first grade, Rodney found out the defendant may be his brother, but he was sworn to secrecy. So he petitioned the court for a DNA test today so he can finally get some answers. Defendant Preston Johnson says he didn't find out about Rodney until the age of 15, and he was absolutely stunned. Preston hopes a DNA test will prove that they are, in fact, brothers. We're here for a DNA test, is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, to see if this is your son? No, it's <laughs> 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 my brother, sir. Oh, oh your brother. Thank you. Okay. I like it. I like it. <laughs> you got gray and he does. <laughs> right. Oh, I do. You just don't see it today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give me some background. Well, yes, sir. Um, I grew up without a father. I've never known him, you know. And there's a folklore amongst my immediate family how my mother tried to abort me when she conceived me with quinine pills back mm. in the day. So I always felt like unwanted, you know, because my father denied me. You know, my mother didn't want me, right. obviously. So I took a wrong path growing up. I take responsibility for that today. But because of you. How old were you when you found out, when your mother said, when you found I out? I couldn't even tell you an age. It, that story's been going into my family for years. Okay. Because she said she tried to do it. Instead <laughs> of aborting me, I came out nine pounds, 11 ounces. Big baby. So. Mm. That's God there, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. And I'm still That's here. Right. You're God. God's child. I hope you're doing God's work. I'm trying to do better today. And I'm not just talking about trying to go to heaven. I'm no, no. About I'm trying, trying to, to be a better people. man. All right. Yes, sir. Now, we all want to go to heaven. Yeah. But Amen. we can't uh, be too heavenly bound and be no earthly good. Yes, sir. All right. Let me stop. But not because of you. <laughs> that was a good line. I ain't I <laughs> <lived> long. <laughs> My father's a bishop, so I'm. <laughs> All right. Wow. But because and of you. And you say you went, you rebelled as a result? Yes, sir. You know, I ended up going to jail, ended up on crack, you know, but I cleaned myself up about 13 years ago. How long I were you on crack? Ooh, 23, 25 years. It was during the 80s when it hit. You stopped 13 years ago. Yes, sir. I was in my late 30s. I have someone very, very close to me, 25-year run, mm -hmm. been clean for 13. Okay. Great. And there's a lot of stories that are very, very similar about the crack epidemic. A lot of people went 10, 15, 25 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm glad to hear you off, and it's just uh, because of you, sir. Want people to know that after 25 years of the worst existence you could imagine, and that's what I was doing, existing. I wasn't living, and people don't know there's a difference. Yep, and that's why I use that term. And uh, for 12 years, you've overcome that. Um, do you have any crackish ways, though? After oh no. That? You sure? I'm positive. I'm positive. You don't ask people for stuff and then don't give it back, and then when they don't give it uh, back, you give them a story. Oh, uh, now they come. You don't to have to be on dope. No. You just might have the crackish ways. Nah, that, now that's they come laid to me for it and don't give it back. Huh? <laughs> now they come to for me, asking for it and don't give it back. All right, there you go. Now I'm having fun with you a little. Thank you and yes, uh, for telling your story. And thanks for uh, continuing to. Uh, Strengthen yourself. Yes, sir. Defendant Preston Johnson says at the age of 15, he found out that the plaintiff may be his brother. And they finally took a DNA test today to find out the truth once and for all. You want to give me some background? Um, my name is Preston, and hopefully this is my brother here, and that's why I'm here today. Um, did you come up knowing anything or hearing no, anything? Sir. What was your life like coming up? Two-parent household? What? No, sir. Um, not until I was probably about 12 years old. My mother did get married, but she, um, her and my father never got together quite like that once. Um, she had me, you know, she um, told me what his name was and she knew where he was, but that was about it. I didn't even find out about him until I was about 15 years old and I found out in the middle of class. 
How? How there was a cousin that I didn't realize was my cousin at the time, and he was sitting in front of me. And he turned around and asked me, he, what, actually what he said was, he says, there's this boy running around saying he's your brother. And I said, well, um, whoever that boy is, you need to go back and tell him he's alive because he ain't my brother because my brother is three years older than me and that's the only brother I know. So I, I didn't know if he was trying to be funny or what, so mm -hmm. I just was trying to squash that little conversation as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. But he came back again. He came back again? <laughs> he came back again and he asked so I got me. proof. <laughs> what did he come back and say? This man so much in the, this little boy so much into your business. Right. What did he come back and say? He said, well, um, are you sure you don't know who this <laughs> man is? And I was like, well, no. Should I? And that's when he said, well, yeah. And I was just, I just went in shock because I, I knew then it was really starting to click in what was actually happening in that moment. And I remember I just got up in the middle of class and I just walked out because I just needed to regroup and try to process what Is I Is he did. still around, the young man who told you that? Yes, sir. All right, well, we're going to put him on the line. If he out of order, <laughs> we're going to go check with him. How about right. that? Your Honor. At least tell I him I knew off. about him from the first grade. Yeah. Hmm? You know about him from the, the, first, the first grade. grade. But see, he didn't know about me till yes. he was 15. I didn't know mm -hmm. anything. All right. My mother just but came. his information, he says he was convinced, well, not convinced. He first heard at age 15. And uh, if that man ain't telling the truth, if you all aren't related, we're going for him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all this being nosy coming in your business at age 15. Yeah, it just rocked my world. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, tell me when you all met and how things went from your perspective. I met him in the first grade. But like I said, I've been always a mischief child. I had burnt my foot and my mother was coming to get me to take me to the doctor. She said, you see the little boy laying next to you? Yes, ma'am. That's your brother. Where? In the first grade, he was, we was taking a nap. Oh, got it. Yeah, we was taking a nap. He said, a little boy laying next to you, that's your brother. He said, but don't you say nothing because I don't think he knows. Mm. So I never did say nothing mm. for years. Mm. How often would you see him? Often. Often. That's amazing. Often. And were you convinced? Nope. Let's start there. Nope. I was okay. going by what mama say. But you weren't convinced. You weren't like... That's really my brother, and I'm seeing him, and I can't tell him. It was, yeah, I wouldn't. You believed it was yeah, your brother. Yes, I believed it because my mama told me. Wow, that's a lot. To that's amazing. That's almost like, wow. I mean, it's I compare that to a kid who can't come out with their sexuality yes, sir. because you're scared of what would happen, and so here you are. You seeing your brother like a gay person might know mm -hmm. what they feel and know they're gay. You know you're seeing your brother every day and can't say a word. You got to hide it. Yep. So you're not really being totally who you were as a kid mm -hmm. because you had an actual brother. But was told not to say anything about one of the most precious things in your life. Their family. Mm -hmm. And you had to withhold that. You seeing a boy there, and that's my brother, but I can't say nothing. He asked me, did I know about it? I've been knowing. I've <laughs> been knowing. Mm. So, how did you finally approach each other? Who approached Called you? me up one day, and we've been thick as thieves ever since. Sounds good. Sounds like we're going to get that boy on an award. I hope so. Who came to <laughs> you and told you that at 15? Tune in tomorrow when Judge Mathis will reveal the results of today's DNA test.